And for Nigeria to fully harness its maritime potential, increased involvement from the indigenous shipping operators is crucial. This message was highlighted at a maritime book presentation in Lagos, which focused on Nigeria's shipping policy and maritime trade after the early 21st century. TVC News Senior Business Correspondent Ifo Nanyaize has more. The event's discussions centered on expanding Nigeria's indigenous shipping capacity. Experts called for an amendment to sections 35 to 38 of the Nigerian Maritime Administration and Safety Agency, NIMASA Act, arguing that the current legislation does not support sustainable local shipping operations. We need to do some amendments because the statute is almost 17 years old now. It was enacted in 2007. There are certain terms in the Act that we need to change. For example, I think that FOB should be changed to CIF, you know, because insurance are free. Implementing sections 35 to 38 of the NEMASA Act 2007 will expand NEMASA's operational portfolios of strategic mandates for overall national development. It will enable the reactivation of dormant sectors of the marine and blue economy, such as international cargo carrying activities by indigenous carriers. It will arrest capital flight of an estimated $9 billion in freight costs paid annually to foreign shipping lines. Participants at the event emphasized the need to address issues that hinder Nigeria's role in international trade, as detailed in the book. Indigenous Cargo Carrying Advocacy Awards were also presented to outstanding contributors in the marine and blue economy sectors. Cargo reservation have to be clearly defined. Every country does it. We are not the first people to do it. All the big nations, America does it, US, that is USA does it, Europe does it, uh, China does it. So why can't we do the same? They have reserved certain percentage of cargo is meant for their own uh, in the, the domestic shipping uh, companies. So we should do the same. And then we can from there build the capacity. When there is cargo, then the entrepreneurs will not invest in that. The NIMASA itself should change the governance process and become much more in control. After it has awarded the cargo, it should monitor the carriage. And if the indigenous carrier is not able to carry the cargo, they should return it to the NMA NIMASA basket to be re reallocated to another indigenous carrier. However, the absence of NIMASA at the event was criticized, especially given the focus on amending its own legislation. Ifunanya Eze, TVC News, Lagos.